two of who you got, where we're breaking down three of the game's premier shortstops and picking between them. I'm Category 5 from The Dish, brought to you by The Scene. Keep the scene on your screen. My man Ty Threw brought you episode one where he broke down Trey Turner and why he went with him. That's a good pick, Ty, but I'm going Xander Bogarts. Now, Xander is not a gold glover, but he's a good, solid defender who won't be a liability out there. He'll get the job done. He's also got some speed. He'll take 10, 15 bases a year, which isn't a ton, but that's okay. You don't expect a lot of stolen bases out of a cleanup guy, so we can live with that. The bulk of his value is what he brings to the plate. He's a 307 hitter. That's 306 against right-handed pitching, 309 against lefties, which means he's a problem for everybody. There is no playing matchups with this guy. It doesn't matter who's on the mound. He's hitting. He he also hits to all fields. He'll pull it. He'll go oppo. He'll hit inside, outside, up, down. It doesn't matter. The bigger problem with this guy is that his batting average doesn't drop below 300 unless he's in a two-strike count. What that means is as a pitcher, you got to go after him early, often, attack the strike zone. Problem is then you're giving him something to hit, and his batting average when he swings at the first pitch is 333. He also has 18 infield hits this year, so there's that speed coming back. And not only that, in nine seasons, he's only grounded into 93 double plays. That means he is the guy that you want at the plate in high leverage situations because he's going to get the job done.